So you want tickets to the big game or the next hot concert, but they're already sold out. What do you do? You get online where ticket brokers are eagerly waiting, but prices may vary and scammers are looking. So how do you know who to trust and where to get the best deal? Well, you asked my girl Dow, that's how. Right, that's She's right. going to show us in today's report from our Valley View Live sponsor, Angie's List. The internet has made it simple to find tickets to that sold out show or ball game. The question is, how much are you willing to pay and will you get what you pay for? Shopping for tickets online might seem easy, but comparing prices actually can be difficult. Because when you're looking at prices, you may not realize the final price till you go through the checkout funnel with added fees. That's a common tactic for many virtual brokers, which don't stock tickets themselves. They resell someone else's tickets and make their money with additional charges. Unfortunately, sometimes the sites are set up where they're hoping you get all the way to the end, you put all your information in, and you won't leave because you've done all that work. Mike Peduto has been brokering tickets for 30 years, and he knows there are scammers out there taking some of his business. He urges people to do their research and steer clear of any site that demands payment by wire transfer or avoids speaking directly with you. If you can't reach them, especially by phone, um, then that, that's pretty much a giveaway that they're not going to have the same level of customer service as somebody local. Look for someone that's a member of the National Association of Ticket Brokers, which holds companies to a strict code of conduct and offers some recourse if something goes wrong. Peduto says a good broker can offer insights on seats in venues you might not know, and that sometimes you can find better deals by waiting to get your tickets until just a couple of days before the event. I would say more often than not, the prices come down as you get closer. One thing I would say, if you, if you only need two tickets, waiting till last minute, you can sometimes save some money. Dow always got the answer. Well, before you buy tickets, Angie says to review the terms of sale or service information on the broker's website so you know exactly what to expect. And honest mistakes can happen. A broker could send you the wrong ticket, so make sure you always check them right away. Do not wait until the day of the event. You might be sorry. Angie's List is a proud sponsor of Valley View Live.